thank you for joining me at Cottage Tranquility for this episode of uh, Learning to Repoint Chimney Breast. You'll find that uh, this episode was actually shot throughout the course of January um, with lots of other things going on in between, um, including some downtime um, due to having a cold and also um, heading back to UK for a few days to help celebrate my uh, father's uh, birthday. I shan't mention his age specifically on here unless I already have. Think you might get away with it, Dad? Think you might. And um, yeah, I hope that you find the rest of the information that's on here helpful, informative and entertaining. So although it's bright outside, it is quite cold so I've got the fire going just to take the edge off out in here um, as we've been in and out so far this morning haven't we Aslan mm -hmm. yes and Aslan's perched there because mummy is currently eating her leftover galette um, from yesterday from the creperie in La Rochefoucauld and they were absolutely lovely people and the food was to die for I mean I could have just stayed in there for the smell of sugar and butter and oh it was just divine um, but the um, one I had was a um, black wheat I think it's called um, galette with complete which has egg ham and cheese in it and it doesn't look very much right now because I've chopped it all up but they're really really good if you want to uh, if you can't finish a meal in France you just ask for a doggy bag and literally they call it a doggy bag um, and they will give you a box of some sort to bring it home which means I get to enjoy the rest of it today although it looks like somebody is after pinching some and I am then also going to be watching a bit of YouTube myself um, to revisit um, an instructional video on repointing um, that I want to look at. Now, I know the video that I'm not after it's by Dan and Escape to Rural France which I love following. I just find Dan absolutely hilarious and really full of useful tips for somebody who's very um, basic when it comes to DIY renovation. Uh, so I can paint, I can tile, I can wallpaper, not a problem. But uh, plastering, repointing, plasterboarding, cutting, acrylic, all those sorts of things are new to me So uh, and plumbing. So I've been learning as I go. So here we go, let's have a look, see if we can find it. And finally, I have found the video that I was looking for, and so I'm going to watch this, and then I'm going to make a small batch and start repointing my chimney breast, which I've been looking forward to doing for ages, so hence why I am in work garb today, although currently pinned under a very large cat. So here we go, all important tools are ready. So I've got the chimney breast that needs repointing. I have a brush, a trowel, and a little fine um, thingy jobby, that's a technical term, to push the mortar into the cracks. I've been through this with a wire brush and initially took out the bad stuff. Uh, with a multi-tool um, just to get in between those. Uh, here is my water spray. Now this is probably complete overkill but I'm going to use some of that water to mix the sand and lime mix. So here we have my bucket for that because I'm only going to do a little bit at a time because I have no idea um, you know how much I'm going to be able to do in one go. Um, so I have fine sand which is I think 0.2 it's not probably as fine as the stuff that I saw Dan using um, it's quite looks quite coarse but it's supposed to be quite fine not 0.2 and then we have the lime mortar mix which is a bit like concrete so 
but helps to allow the old stone walls to breathe. So hence why we've got that. So here we go. So it's one part mortar to four parts sand. So let's do it this way. I don't have a cement mixer because hopefully I don't have that much building work to do, but you never know. So Three, and four. Here we go, and one of those. So I'm just going to mix that all in. In fact, I'm going to use my little spatula here because I find that much easier. So actually you want it a lot wetter than I had it there. That was um, quite dry when I first tried it out. So I would recommend that you add a decent amount of water so that when you've got it on the spatula, it's actually holding its form. It's not all crumbly. You don't want it too wet. You don't want it sloppy. You know, it still needs to be reasonably dry. Um, it's it's basically wet enough to hold together, a bit like when you're making a sandcastle um, on the beach. You need to have it so that it can hold its own form. You don't want it to be crumbly and you don't want it to be sloppy because if you get it too sloppy then you'll find that you end up getting the lime uh, soaking into your bricks or your stone or you know, won't obviously won't soak into stone but it will mark it. So you don't really want that, um, and also you don't want it sliding back out. You want it to be able to just hold its form and stay on the wall where you put it. So I hope that's helpful. Maybe the water bottle knew much better than I did. Right, probably not going to be able to see this particularly well as I give it a go, but you can see where it's wet, where the water spray went mad. Uh, I'm going to give this a go. I am a lefty, so... I'm going to try, uh, we'll try on the top and we're just going to try and trowel that in and across into there. I think it might need to be a little bit wetter. Not the actual where it's going, but boy am I glad that I sprayed that because I uh, don't think it's going to stick otherwise. Not too worried about it falling on the floor because I can always come back to that and it sounds a lot worse than it is. Just added a bit more water to it. I don't know if you can see that. So it's got a bit more stickability to it. Again, technical terms here. Hopefully it'll hold its own rather than just falling all over the floor. And we will see how that goes. So two things, gonna pop that there because more falling off, it could catch that, so that's good. Waste less. Two pop around on there, she's like chucking it straight on the floor. Honestly, so here we go. Oh yeah, that definitely seems to be sticking a lot better, holding its own. It's got more form. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that in there. Pick that up, wedge it in, wedge it, and it will go in. And I love these particular tiles I've used for the chimney breast. They're all different colours. Some of them have sooted, which will wire brush off later a little bit, but I actually quite like it. 
just the different colours. And love that they're kind of handmade because it just gives them all slightly different shapes. save myself some pennies in the long run. Mammy's Bar in Montembeuf and uh, we've just had a lovely afternoon coffee and chat here. There's a lovely roaring fire. Everybody else has left for the day now and uh, I'm just here with the owner and the lady that's currently running it um, who I shan't put on camera and uh, we've got one of their lovely little doggies there, little sweetheart. But yeah, they do meals here every night for 10 euros. Just uh, been advised that it's best to book if we want to uh, get a table and uh, make sure we get to eat, um, have food reserved for us. But yeah, for 10 euros, I thought that was really, really good. And they also do lots of lovely cake options during the day as well. Um, but did you just want to tell me, um, apart from the evening meal did you say there were certain days that you do other things yeah on a wednesday we open um from 12 till 2 and we do the lunch lunch time menu which is uh, the dinner of the day including one small alcoholic say half a pelfort or a soft drink for 10 euros that's brilliant and it's uh... A lovely day today and it is actually snowing i'm just going to come round so i know forewarn you <laughs> you say so here we are, this is whereabouts we are on the square, just next to the town hall. Just looking out and it is snowing. So this is a beautiful mountain berth. That's the church there. And that is Mammy's Bar, Mountain Berth, where I've just been filming. And as you see, the snow is coming down. So I'm now going to try and find my keys and drive back. So I'm quite excited. Um, 
I just got home from Mummy's Bar and I'm actually just still in the car at the moment as you can see and uh, yeah it is still snowing it is snowing here and this is the first time I've seen snow at home at uh, Cottage Tranquility so I'm going to get out and film snow coming down here because it is so so pretty and I just want to share that with you so here we are Cottage Tranquility Watching the snow come down. The security lights just come on. I'll be going in and uh, putting the log fire on shortly. But yeah. There we go. Even the fire pit is covered in snow as it's starting to come down, and the light is beginning to fail. It is um, about half past five here. And so it's normally dark here around six at the moment. So yeah, there we go. I really worry about myself as I get older. It's a Friday night and instead of going to a rock club, I've been repointing a chimney breast. So that's the bit that I've done tonight and you can see it's all the way to the floor now. So nearly there and then I've just got the sides to do for the rest of this weekend so hopefully that will get that done. But uh, for tonight that's me done. I'm going to go and warm up my cup of tea which I still haven't drunk which I made myself earlier because I was gasping. Honestly I now know why workmen always seem like they're on tea breaks. It's because once you get going into something, unless you make the time for a tea break, you never actually stop and you just carry on and you're forever drinking cold tea. So that seems to be my lot in life at the moment, cold tea. So I'm going to go and heat it up. Well, today is not a good day. My beautiful and lovely KitchenAid kettle that has served me really well for the past 10 years has finally died. I have tried it time and time again today and yeah as soon as it clicks on I think the element must be gone because yeah it's just not having it and it just beeps away at me. So I'm going to have to go back to the old-fashioned way and uh, boil some water in a pan on the hob. So yeah joy of joys time to get a new kettle but not today because I'm too busy here we are just got that bit at the top to do and then the right hand side I have a feeling I've got to go and get some sand. I was going to go and get some today, but seem to have enough for today. So I shall be doing what I can today from the bottom up. And then potentially going and getting some more tomorrow. Just checking what I've got here. Some extra bits I'm going to just take out. I'm going to try and get this done this weekend because Pops arrives on Wednesday and I'd like us to make great progress on that. There's quite a bit missing back there so it's going to take some back filling there but and I don't believe that we've taken that out. I think that's probably missing. As you see there's a couple of them wherever they've gone that seem to be low on stuff so yeah. This pesky cold I've had this past week's really knocked it out of me. Yeah, that's right. I had woman flu. Bit like man flu, but worse. Yes, lads, you heard that right. It's worse. It's real for a start. <laughs> right, yeah, you see, there's not much lip there where they've gone really slim into each other. Let's see these things. 
super handy little tools. Probably not supposed to use it for this, but it really works. It works to get in there. One way to push the stuff in, and it also works to get the stuff out. But for the majority of it to get it going, what I used was um, one of those multi-action tools. <clears throat> That's what I used for that. So there we go. Let's oh, take that bit out. Some of that. Might help if I actually showed you what I was doing, eh? Filming skills, not necessarily my best skill set yet, but we're getting there, like with everything. Learning, learning, learning. It's certainly good for the brain, if nothing else. Right, I'm going to crack on and I will show you more on the flip side. So, making some progress here. However, there's somebody over here keeping a close eye on me. Just to make sure I don't get myself into any accidents, aren't you? Yeah, just in case somebody snuck up. Yeah, and is watching me. You're going to sit there and watch, are you? Yeah. <laughs> it's no good. You can't help. You can't do it. You can't. No. Off you go. No, no. Oh, dear, no. No, we're not going to sit on Mummy while she does this. No. Oh, God. <laughs> you are not. <laughs> Help. I'm being accosted. Oh, right, time to put this down and try and get this lump off my lap. So here's a quick look at how much I've done this evening with what I had left. So that gives me a bit more to do there and a bit more on the front. As you see, I've been filling in some of these big holes that were there um, using some of the old sand that came out along with some uh, lime. And yes, Aslan is still shouting at me because he wants me to finish. So on that note, yes, on that note, Shall we head downstairs, get some dinner? And after a hard day's work on the house, not much better than a fantastic Thai green curry, homemade with some toasted cashew nuts. So I'm gonna sit down, chill out and uh, enjoy that. <sighs> Perfect. Having a scraggly day today, had a bit of a bit of a rough day yesterday, just not feeling it, and I'm feeling very, very tired today. But um, hence, just not making any effort really. <laughs> so that's that's my only reason for telling you. Um, no sympathy required, ever. That's that's all good. Um, I'm just trying to decide what to do next. I've been to French class, I've come home, I've tidied, put all my shopping away, been shopping, food shopping as well. Tidied up a little bit, although to the untrained eye it looks as messy as normal, but uh, it got a lot worse. So I have tidied up a bit and now I have the turkey to chop up to put into the couple of dishes that um, I was prepping yesterday and because that's finally defrosted some then the other thing to do is to go upstairs and do some more work on the chimney breast finish try and finish off that repointing if I've got enough sand so going to do those two things today that is happening and I've just prepped and the house is ready for daddy to arrive on Wednesday so yeah, we've got a few more tasks and things to do, but spacing them out. Um, but those, those two things are two things that I would like to get done today. And then maybe a little bit more tidy. Maybe, maybe. Finally, finally finished repointing the chimney. Took me longer than I anticipated. Um, 
I'm sure a professional could do it quite quickly, probably do it in a couple of days. But uh, I used odd hours here and there to do it. And it is currently Monday afternoon and I've just spent the past couple of hours doing the top. You still see where it's wet. And uh, the side, let me just uh, come around. So that still needs a brush down. But just going to let that dry off for a minute. And then uh, give that a bit of a tidy up. Hopefully that will all dry roughly the same colour and look all right. Thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Cottage Tranquility. I hope that you found the episode here on repointing of interest, of help and it's informative. And um, obviously if you have any questions with regards to it, do let me know. Yes, I'm not a professional. Yes, I was learning as I went. So I'm learning along with you if you're learning. And Dan, thank you very much for your um, video. It was really, really helpful to uh, get me started. Much appreciated. And guys, do head over. I'll put a link in here to uh, escape to rural France. Brilliant, Aslan. Don't work with children and animals. I try not to work with him. He just doesn't give me much of a choice. There he goes. <laughs> but uh, at, least, at least he's cute. Aren't you, Aslan? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and please do like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.